Here's three ways to split the tin. Step one, hand on the inside, thumb on the outside. Inner circle, catch, catch. Two, thumb on the inside, fingers on the outside. Inside, catch, catch. Try number three, all hands on the outside. Use your fingers to split it. Outside rotation, boom. Once you're good, you can try this one. Keep practicing. Elevate your game this New Year's with a champagne cocktail. Get an absinthe spoon like this in a sugar cube. Put the cube right on top. A couple dashes of Angostura bitters. Let it soak all the way through. Drop that bad boy. Top it off with a little bubbly. That's a cocktail to ring in the new year. Cheers to 2023. I took you. friends coming over for a party. A punch bowl is a great way to liven it up. Take your favorite spirits or your pre-made cocktail, give it a good shake. This cocktail is made for many. Cheers to the celebration. How do you open a bottle of red wine? With a corkscrew like this, well, you gotta use a lot of muscle. With a corkscrew like this, it's great because you don't have to use as much muscle and it's got a knife on the back so you can cut the foil. But the best is a corkscrew like this with two hinges on it and five spirals. Make sure it has a knife on the back and don't cut the top line. Cut underneath and then score it up the side. That way that the ribbon comes off nice and smooth. Start in the middle and be slow. Be careful. You don't want the cork to break off inside. Use the first step to pull the cork halfway out. Now the second step, don't pull it all the way because you might break it. It should come off really smooth. Enjoy a glass for me. It's cold outside. Let's make a toddy. Maybe a little clove. How about some lemon? Add a little honey. Hot water. Gotta leave room for the good stuff. Cheers to those cold winter nights. If you're gonna juice some fruit for a cocktail, cut your fruit in half. And you can use a juicer like this, sit right on top of your glass. A fruit juicer like this, squeeze into your shaker. Or you could use a fruit press like this and really dig into it. But then you're gonna have to use a fine mesh strainer like this. Enjoy your cocktail. Hey everyone, let's talk about the most important thing that you can do for the environment while drinking your cocktail. Some people, are still using these plastic straw things. Gross. A better option, paper straw. It could get a little soggy. Or you could use this cute paper straw like this. It's nice for occasions, like a wedding. But my favorite to use in a cocktail is a metal straw like this. You can even get a little scrub brush to make sure it's clean. Think about the environment next time you go cocktailing. Cheers. You know, if you don't want to waste 24 hours waiting for a crystal clear ice like this, grab some whiskey stones and throw it in the freezer for 15 minutes. Your sugar cube, a couple dashes of bitters, two ounces of your favorite bourbon or rye. Muddle that up. Drop in your whiskey stones. Give it a stir. Super cold, just don't chew on the ice. When making drinks with fresh fruit, juices, and herbs, you wanna make sure you don't wanna leave a bunch of junk in the cocktail when you're done. So the best way to do that 
is to use a fine strainer. See, when you're done making your cocktail and you're ready to go, you wanna use one of these. It's gonna sift out anything that is left in your cocktail, like ice chips, maybe rosemary, or lemon pulp. Cheers to your next cocktail.